my brothers and sisters in Christ. As always, I hope this midweek message finds you and your families happy, healthy, holy, and wise. Due to the number of things happening in the Archdiocese and around the parish, <clears throat> I'm going to jump right into the local scene in this week's update video. First of all, with this two special Masses happening this weekend, the first is the annual Blue Mass. For years, the Blue Mass was held at the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart. Uh, now there is an initiative to move it around the Archdiocese a bit more to get into different localities. But the Blue Mass, regardless, always is promoting and is focused on those who serve in law enforcement and criminal justice as a way to pray for them uh, and to, to support them in the, the work they do for the common good. And so this year's Blue Mass is being held at St. Jerome's Parish, uh, and it'll be this Sunday at 9 a.m. Uh, there, or I'm sorry, at 10 a.m. Uh, at St. Jerome's this Sunday. And so please, whether you can attend the Blue Mass or not, please be sure uh, this Mass is always held near the Feast of St. Michael the Archangel due to the fact that he's our patron saint. So please be sure to say a prayer for those who put themselves in harm's way uh, to, to serve the cause of peace and justice in our community. Here at the Co-Cathedral, we'll be having the annual 50th anniversary uh, 50th wedding anniversary Jubilee Mass. Uh, we, every year in September and October, uh, gather together those celebrating their 50th or 25th wedding anniversaries for a special Mass with Cardinal DiNardo. And so this Sunday here at the Co-Cathedral at 3 p.m. and a special Mass, Cardinal will be here gathering with those celebrating their 50th anniversaries. And so in the same way, pray for all marriages Pray that not just on landmarks of big anniversary numbers, but at all times, the vocation of marriage may not only be revered, but may be cultivated intentionally, so that the wedding bond and the family so created may be the place where the love of God is revealed and shared. Some repeat items at the parish, a couple of which I plugged last week. A reminder that this Saturday, September 23rd, will be a lecture training session for those interested in being trained to proclaim the Word of God at Mass. The training will start at 1 p.m. in the church on Saturday with sign-ins at 12.30. Please, if you're interested in attending the training, contact either Stephanie Khalifa or Deacon Joe Milhouse here in the office to get signed up. Also, a reminder that coming up on Sunday, October 1st, we will have our first Family Connect of the Faith Formation academic year, uh, with it being October 1st, the beginning of the month of October, dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary in the month of the Rosary. Uh, the, the topic will fittingly be on the Rosary. So Sunday, October 1st, 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m., we'll have our first Family Connect Sunday on the topic of the Rosary, opportunity for families to gather in fellowship, in prayer, time of crafts and activities for, for kids of all ages and families to bond. And then lastly, for this week, uh, we're shifting gears to our Fill the Crib initiative. As we continue to walk with moms in need, people are invited to bring in new or gently used baby items of all different kinds uh, that can help moms and families in need. These items can be dropped off either in the bins in the narthex or at the cathedral center. And for those who would rather make just a monetary donation online or those interested in volunteering, you can find these opportunities and signups online on our parish website. Those are just a few of the quick hitters uh, going on in the archdiocese and in the parish uh, for, for this week. And so, as always, let's keep one another in prayer. O sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Amen.